morning everyone to make the electromagnetic train we require few simple things the first one is neodymium magnet the second one is copper coil and the third one is an optional thing but uh, they are pliers uh, to cut the wire or to bend it if it doesn't bend fourth is uh, duracell batteries uh, uh, you can use any other battery but i prefer uh, duracell aa batteries and the last one being is a rod to make the coil i used a uh, pipe from my sister's tent because it was the perfect diameter through which the cell can pass through to make the coil uh, first we'll require some piece of tape and uh, after we cut the tape we'll stick the one end of the uh, copper wire to the uh, pipe using the tape so that it doesn't move and after that we can easily make the coil tape tape on the copper wire my bad and uh, yeah let's now make the coil so turning the coil has to be efficient like they neither have to be too close to each other nor have to be too spaced out they have to have a uh, proper distance between uh, one coil to another so after rolling of some length of the coil i push it up upwards so that they maintain proper space between them because if the coil starts together then the induction won't flow and now this is a final coil and i'll remove it from the after removing from the pipe this is the coil this is how the coil looks like spaced out evenly yeah so let's create a train so to create a train first we need to make sure that the magnets we attach should repel each other should be the same poles like south south pole uh, were facing each other and now if we push uh, the if we push the train through through the copper wire it fires so the this happens because when the battery is placed inside the coil both the magnets are touching the coil produce a closed circuit between the two magnets and current flows as the current flows through the conductive copper wire a magnetic field is created around the wire this magnetic field interacts with the magnetic field created by the neodymium magnets in that way that repels the magnets on one end and attracts the magnet on the other end pushing the battery through the coil as the train moves the process repeats so the speed of the train depends upon the power left in the battery so this is a pretty used battery like i've used this for testing the coil and the project so when i pass it through so it takes some time like it goes slowly 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 and see here between it gets stuck see here also it got stuck so but when i use a new battery like i've just got a new battery right here out of the packet yeah so when i use this battery so it goes pretty fast it goes pretty fast.